Hey everybody and welcome back to this Chelsea FIFA 23 career mode. We are in the transfer window, so depending on how much negotiations and stuff going on, might be a three-game episode with no sign-ins. It could be a two-game episode with loads of negotiations going on. One thing I will say, there were lots of shouts. You, you guys know we want to bring in a midfielder. Loads of shouts for this guy, Sandro Tonali, AC Milan midfielder. You can see he's valued at 76 and a half million pounds so we're gonna have to pay a fair whack to get him in but there was just so many comments him Vlahovic, tamori everyone wants rice in bellingham we can't get rice in bellingham neither club are willing to negotiate with us so tonali could be the play here tonali could be the play just 23 he's a defensive minded midfielder we need one of those to sit and pivot while the likes of mount and kovacic and gallagher and fernandez and that run things further up the pitch so we're gonna go in for him and hopefully we can get him. I'm going to go straight in as well with a massive offer. £82.5 million. I think that should be enough. Whoa. Nope. Representative from Milan. Then 104. But we know that's not the case, is it? 104 is too much. So we go up and we negotiate. 85. £85 million. I think they'll take it. The fact that they're willing to negotiate on the fee shows that they're willing to part ways with Tonali. They're just 104.9 again. Okay, let's hit hit them up with a, a 90 million pound bid. I don't want to lose this sale. I don't want to lose this deal. It's not even a sale, it's a purchase. 90 mil. So we've gone up a fair whack. We'll say yes to that. It's really good to reach. Okay, 90 million pound deal for Tonali is on the table. We've just got to agree personal terms now. But this has gone swimmingly. This has gone really, really well. He wants 83 grand a week. Signing bonus of less than a mil makes it over a mil after five appearances for the club obviously that's going to happen he's going to be an important first team player and he signs on the dotted line thank you to you guys for suggesting this sandro tonali he was the one you wanted he's the one we've got welcome to chelsea young man hopefully you've got a big future at this club and you can help us go on and achieve big things your boy's arriving looking like a knockoff antonio conte 20 30 years younger you order conte from wish this is what you get that's all sponsorship and brand deals from wish.com out the window, but fuck it. It's an excellent deal as well. Yeah, we knew that. We knew that. Best possible deal was 83.9. No, it wasn't because we offered 85 and they said no. So jog on. Unless we'd have gone down again and they might have accepted. Who cares? Tonali's ours. He's ours. And there we go. The board are buzzing. There are some offers to respond to, but thank you for reaching a brand exposure target, which we'd hope to reach. People are saying good things about us. There we go. We wanted to make sure we sign one of the best players in the world and we've done that. So don't thank me. Thank you guys. You were the ones suggesting him in the comments. So well done, team. Arsenal want Trev Chalaba on a loan with an option to buy. Now, this is quite interesting because I'm happy to loan him out, but not to Arsenal. Trev don't want to go no Arsenal. Straight up reject. We're not loaning players out to rivals. Sivaspor have agreed to take Bruno Borges on loan without an option to buy. It's just whether Borges now agrees to join them. We've accepted it. We're all good with it. Go out on loan, my son. Atletico Madrid, on the other hand, want Trev with an option to buy. I would happily let him go to Atletico because he doesn't play that much. But what I don't want to do is let them have an option to buy. So they can take him on a year's loan, but without an option to buy. Oh, this is big. This is big. I don't know what to do here. This is where I feel like doing these episodes live as a stream to get the input of the chat would be a good option. Something I'm thinking about, by the way. Let me know if that's something that you'd be interested in, either on Twitch or here on YouTube. Not sure yet. But Porto want Broha for £26.2 million. Now, the reason I'm thinking about it, the reason I'm thinking about it is because I want to get Vlahovic in. If we get him and we've got Nkunku, Bamiyang will leave. Still got Lukaku to sell. Hmm, maybe we we keep Broho and we just get rid of Lukaku. I don't know, man. Broho's not been amazing, but he is still young. It's a toughie. I just realised going through the squad, by the way, so many players have a contract expiring in six months, and I'm not okay with that. Like Matson, yeah, he can stay. I'm going to negotiate that contract. But key players, players like Mason Mount, his contract. But Thiago Silva is retiring. Confirmation that this will be his last season here at Chelsea, which it was going to be anyway. But Ethan Ampadu obviously played for Wales in the World Cup against USA the other day. Very good young player, CDM. Do we give him some action? Do we give him some game time? We've just bought Tonali and we could have a little superstar in Ethan Ampadu. But 
Callum hudson Adoy contract expiring in six months. Not going to let that happen. Leandro Trossard, new signing, contract expiring in six months. Not happening either. Webster can go. Loftus-Cheek, not going to let him go. Kovacic's not going to let him go. Look at all these players, man. Got a lot of work to do. Mason Mount, contract expiring in six months. How have we let this happen? Christian Pulisic. No, no, no. Let me go through all of these and renew them. Maybe not Aubameyang, though. Maybe not Aubameyang. Okay, Matson done. 47 grand. That's cool. I like delegating these bad boys, obviously. Um, who else have we got? Ampadu. Delegate renewal. Start the wage. But I could see something moving on my desk there, and I thought it was an absolutely massive spider. Just a wire. Why was it wiggling? Uh, Ampadu. I don't even know what he's on at the moment. I need to look. I need to go through this properly. Okay, it took me ages, but I've been through the entire squad, and with the exception of Pierre Emerick Aubameyang, everybody signed a contract extension, which is amazing news. As is the fact that we are top of the league with a game in hand and already three points clear on second place Spurs and Everton. We're clear of those as well. We've got Bournemouth away to kick this episode off. They are struggling down in 18th, but we haven't been the best when playing against Bournemouth in this career mode so far. So hopefully that improves. They have got the better of us on a few occasions, but the squad's very different now. £90 million Sandro Tonali, except for his debut as well. And this is a team that's going to help us change it. Tonali does come in at CDM. Martins on the left, Havertz leading the lineup top, Sterling on the right, Mount, Tonali Gallagher in midfield, Chilwell, Silva, Vardio, and James at the back. Football to 4 2 3 1 wide for Bournemouth. Former Chelsea man Dom Solanke, who has actually scored many goals against us in the past on this career mode, leads the line. We've got to make sure he doesn't score today. There he is. The 90 million pound man will be wearing the number 13. Not many squad numbers available in the uh, in the club at the moment, but new season next year will give him a better number than 13. I don't know what he is for Milan, actually. I didn't look. Oh, Mount, that's a good ball looking for Havertz. I've got the player name indicator on. Don't know if that's... Oh, my God, Gallagher. Nearly scored a worldie. I don't know if the player name indicator is helpful for you guys or not. Oh, my God, he nearly scored that with the instep. Look at the, the movement on that. That would have gone in. That would have been insane. But yeah, let me know if you want the player indicator on or off. That was so close, by the way. Oh, that's a nice play from Bournemouth. Here's Brooks. David Brooks battling with Mount. Thiago Silva gets something on it and Mendy will come out and gather. Looking to launch a counter-attack. Here's Raheem Sterling. Into Gallagher. Gnarly, there he is. Spraying balls out. To Martins. That flag's getting right in my, in my way there. Diego Martins, what's he going to do here? Cuts back, puts it across. No one in there. Can he win that header? No, it was a good effort, though. Gallagher wins that back nicely. Here's Mason Mount. Touch, finesse. <laughs> Mason Mount. What an absolute banger, by the way. In off the underside of the crossbar. That is ridiculous. Let's have a look at that again. Yes, please. It's fairly central, but look at the dip on it. Unreal. Football over the top that. Thiago Silva's got to be quick. Oh, wow. Great play from Solanke. Really good save from Mendy to keep it 1-0. No, no, no. Get in front of that. Oh, as if. As if Mendy's gone down. And oh, look, Solanke. Shock horror. He scores against us every time we play against Bournemouth, I think. Massive hint of good fortune about the goal. He's gone for goal with a power shot. We've blocked it. Mendy's on the floor. Bournemouth in possession. Solanke causing us issues. He's on his own. He's waiting for support. He's got it here. Feel well with the interception. Tonali's there. He finds Havertz. Havertz looking for Martins. Martins holds it up. That's a good ball out right to Reese James. He's got Gallagher in the middle. He's got options. He's going to come back here. Martins. Denali could hit this. Instead, he finds Mount. Oh, I was going for goal again with Mace. Ball drops loose. Mount will pick it up. He's got Gallagher to his left. If he can see him, well, it's not the pass I was trying to play at all. God, Gallagher was in there with a decent pass. Lanky could be in here. Chilwell's dived in. Not sure what he's up to. Bournemouth on the break. Get there, Reese. If you get there. Oh, no. Bardio, get there. Get across. 
Oh no, Mendy, well done. Thank you. Counter attack could be on. Alright. Raheem, this is it. Last chance before half time, I think. Raheem Sterling. Trying to beat his man for pure pace. Got no options in the box. Martins is arriving fast. <gasps> Nearly got his nose broken again, but he got the header. Went wide. No changes yet, but we need to be better. This team are struggling. So are we today. Here's Martins, though. Finds Kai Havertz. Bit isolated up there. It's nice footwork. Just didn't really have any support. Nice from Martins. Finds Gallagher. Slip it through. He's done that. Tonali on his debut denied by a wonderful save from the goalkeeper. That was good play, though. This is a, a bright start to the second half here. That's a lovely ball into Gallagher. Turn was even better. Connor Gallagher. How? How are we not ahead? Oh, Reece James been skinned. Don't say that very often. Back in position now, though. Don't get skinned again, Reese. They're running rings around us here, Bournemouth. This doesn't look like a team fighting for relegation. Chilwell gets his foot in at the last minute. Look at the high press. That's lovely from Reese. That isn't. That isn't. Vardy on with the block. We are struggling. Martins with a sharp turn. Havertz. Lovely touch from Kai. Sterling's gone. Raheem Sterling. In you go, Raheem. In you go, Raheem. Havertz back stick. There we go. On a plot. Adam Reese into Kai Gallagher. Oh, lovely. Bang. I give up with this game. I really do give up with this game. The way things are going, it's got 2 1 Bournemouth written all over it, hasn't it? Wow. Raheem. Oh, it's amazing. Gallagher again. This time. Oh, what a finish. What a finish. Connor Gallagher hit the post earlier in this half. Full credit to Raheem Sterling. With the ball over the top, that Bournemouth fan in the background, bless him. Absolutely gutted. But finally, we find the breakthrough and go back in front. Pass from Raheem was amazing. But to hit it like that on the half volley, amazing finish. Double change being made now. Broya coming on, along with Enzo Fernandez to give Mount a rest. Broya, of course, the subject of a £26 million bid from Porto, who are interested in securing his signature. So... Not sure what we're going to do with him yet. Still have not decided. Could be interesting. Defending Get that flag out of my face, man. Connor, big challenge. Reese, not such a big challenge. Bournemouth could be in here. Chop comes in. Mendy makes a meal of it. I was quite confident there, though. That was a bit of a half chance, wasn't it? That's nice from Fernandez. Finale now bringing the ball forward. Here's Sterling. Sterling fizzes one into Broya's feet. Broya looks up, sees the run of nobody. Wow, £26 million. That was more of a £2.6 million pass. The ball is switched. If they score from this, I'll be very cross. Good from Vardio, isn't it? Good from Vardio. Oh, Reese has had a mare. Reese has had a bit of a mare today. No, no foul, lads. No penalty. Good build up from Bournemouth. Shot comes in. That's safe. All day long, that's safe. Gallagher into Sterling. Uh, mate, he didn't even go for the ball there. He just went for Sterling's kneecap. So we're going to do the same here. Give him some, Reese. Give him a bit. Don't get yourself sent off because we need you. Or just take the ball off him. That would do that. Fucking flag! Getting right on my nerves. It, mate? You oh, he's done me. He's done me. He's done me. Flag stayed down as well. What a save that is. From Big Mendy. Big men doggy dog. Bournemouth, final chance. Keep us up. Gonna move Martins out of the way in case we had this clear. <gasps> it's risky. Reese James, shoot. Oh, whistle's gone. We had to fight for that, didn't we? They weren't playing like a team. Well, they were playing for a team fighting for their life. They fought for everything. That was one of the most difficult games we've had. We had a lot of chances. Couldn't find a way through. And then they ramped up the, the pressure. And we were hanging on at the end, but we've got the win here. It's all that matters, as I always say. There he goes. That's Bruno. Bruno Borges heading out on loan, and I'm happy about that because he was just nowhere near the standard we needed yet. I was hoping he'd be a bit like Martins and be effective, but nah. The Borges gone. Porto's bid for Broya. 
Still haven't decided what I'm going to do with that yet. I want to let you guys kind of decide that. Let me know down in the comments whether to accept that offer or not. We have got the budget to deal with Blahovic, so that's exactly what I'm going to try and do now. But Chalaba, two year. How is that a two year loan? He's not going on loan for two years. I suppose we could always recall him, couldn't we? Nah, Trev, Trev's staying. Right, it's going to be tough to get a deal for Vlahovic done. He's valued at 108. I'm going in with a bit of 110 mil, which is pretty much all our budget. You can see that would only leave us 11 million. And they're fuming about it. Fuming. The other striker I was interested in, if we can't get Vlahovic, was Lotaro Martinez. I think he could be the guy. I tweeted that. He could be the guy. So we're meeting with Inter now. Now we could... Because we know they like. We know they'd be interested in a certain Romelu Lukaku. So, are we going to do Lukaku plus 65 million for Lotaro Martinez? I'd take it. I would absolutely take it. And so should they, I think. I'm comfortable with the deal. There you go. Done. Done, 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 done. 65 mil plus Rom going the other way. We might have been able to sell Rom. For profit but do one mate get back to inter they want you we don't you guys constantly comment that you don't want big rom at chelsea and he should never play for us again so lataro martinez could be the breath of fresh air that we need that would be him and nkunku up top we could then probably let broya go but abamyang's going at the end of the season anyway and that we've got Havertz still so this is this is interesting would give us some options. He's flying through negotiations. They know exactly what they want. And I love it when they know exactly what they want. 130 grand a week. That's less than what he's currently on at Inter Milan. They want big signing bonuses and 3.6. Do you know what? Done. Lataro Martinez joins Chelsea. That's Tonali and Martinez. We've raided Serie A and we've spent a lot of money in the process. But it all hinges, of course, on Lukaku agreeing to go to Inter permanently, which has obviously happened. He loves Inter. He twerked for Inter. Not really working out there for him in real life at the moment, but he's back where he calls home and where he wanted to be. But Lotaro Martinez is here in West London and he will take Lukaku's number nine shirt. I'm hoping he can be decent. He said he was going to take Lukaku's number nine shirt, didn't I? Obviously, Aubameyang is our number nine, not Lukaku. So Martinez is going to take 15. What we've got next then is an FA Cup tie. Trying to get through to the next round, of course. 4-3-3. I've rotated the team a bit, but not too much. It is the perfect debut, though, I think, for Lotaro Martinez. Get a bit of a bit of a feel for English football without throwing him straight into a Premier League game. Although, Cup games are riskier because there's no second chances. Pulisic, Martinez, hudson Adoy, the front line. Loftus-Cheek, Ethan Ampadu getting his first minutes of this career mode in that CDM role with Kovacic. In midfield with him. I will switch it to a 4-3-3 with a CDM for Ampadu's sake. Because obviously we're currently playing him out of position. But then Matson comes in at left back. He hasn't had much game time. Trev, who we declined to send to Atletico Madrid, will play centre back with Koulibaly. Tarek Lamptey with Kepa coming in as our cup goalkeeper. We've recently played West Brom as well. So be interesting to see how we get on here. There he is, the new man, making his debut today. We've absolutely raided Serie A, haven't we, by the way? We've got Tonali, we've got Liao. Now we've got Lataro La or Martinez. Martinez? Martinez. My pronunciation, man. It's tragic. You can pronounce them any way you like, though. Anyway, FA Cup time at the bridge. Yes, Matson. High hopes for this lad in the English game. I think in a couple of years, he will be one of the first names on the team sheet. I really do. I'm talking in the, in the future, of course. Ruben, that's a great ball to find Christian Pulisic. Go on, Trev. Oh, no, he's been beaten in the air. Koulibaly, get back there, son. Ampadu. Oh, no. This problem could be in Matson. What a tackle. What a challenge from the youngster. Honestly, there's a lot of people that rate that man very highly. I think he's got a big future in the English game. Martinez, ah, oh, looking for off to cheat. Wasn't quite the B, but honestly, give it three or four years, and I think Matson will be one of the first names on the team sheets. I, uh, I really do, whether it's at Chelsea or whether it's somewhere else at another Premier League club. As Callum hudson Adoy goes on a mazy run. Looks to apply the finish. Good save. Still giving Nkunku a much-needed rest as well. We have relied a lot. Oh, look at Madsen again. 
on his goals in the Premier League this season, but that's not an issue. Martinez is in. Lotaro Martinez could give us a lead on his debut. That's why we signed him. Great ball from Pulisic. The weight of pass was good. He timed the run to perfection. And what an introduction to those Chelsea fans for the new man up top. Perfect way to endear yourself. Look at that. Took it in his stride. And there was very little doubt, was there? We're going all the way. Okay, Sarah, Sarah. We're going to Wembley. We're winning this competition. I'm telling you now. This, the Premier League, the Champions League, it's all happening. We're in the driving seat in a lot of those competitions at the moment. It could be two goals up here. Pulisic finds Martinez again. This guy. I love him already. What a dream debut. He's put that one in the roof of the net. That was some finish. Pulisic Martinez link up could be the way forward. He just took a touch to set himself. Didn't even think. That is instinctive. He's just put his foot through it. I love it. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Okay, all right. Goals galore. Kepa beaten. The first thing he's going to do is pick the ball out of the net. Well, it isn't because the West Brom player is going to do it for him. First chance West Brom have had. First attack. And they smash it into the roof of the net. Shocking defending. Koulibaly and Chalaba stretched. Way out of position. John Swift has scored. Now, correct me if I'm wrong. Former Chelsea youth team player, John Swift. Incredible. Couldn't make it up, could you? I think that means every single player that scored in this episode has played for Chelsea at some point. But Solanke scored the Bournemouth goal. Here's Kovacic. Martinez. Oh, I tried to turn provider. That was a bit cocky. Bit careless. No need for it, but... Hey-ho, he scored twice, so I'm not going to moan. Big rubes. Pulisic, Loftus-Cheek, Ampadu, Martinez, Kovacic. Oh, I tried to squeeze that back through to Ampadu. We're playing some lovely, silky football. Matson. No, he's giving it away. Good interception. In the first, well, I say good interception. They gave it straight to him. Yes, Rubes. Martinez, turning provider for Pulisic this time. Can he go all the way? He's got literally no support, Christian Pulisic. Cuts back. Look to pick out Kovacic. Finds its way to Hudson Adoy, Ampadu. Oh, what are you doing, you moron? No way. No way. Where's the defence? Lamptey desperately trying to get back. Trying to get across. How have they messed that up? They had so much time. A let off at the end of the half. It's Lamptey. So storming forward, but it's not really. Not really storm, is it? He is storming forward now, though, Tarek Lamptey. He could get on the end of this. Oh, what a save. It was unselfish from Rubes. Ruben could have gone on his own, but he saw Lamptey continue his run. Played his teammate in. It wasn't to be. I feel like we need another goal to kill this cup tie, you know. This is open. This is how cup ties should be. League form out the window. League form very much out the window as it's 2-2. West Brom back in this tie. You can hear the players screaming in celebration. Fans are going absolutely mental. You get more bigger away allocation as well in a cup day. They are filling the shed end. Chalaba caught on his heels again. Ah, <sighs> should have sent him to Madrid. Should have sent him to Madrid. We've got a strong bench. Should we need it? We shouldn't do. But I feel like we might. The last thing I want is a bloody replay. Do they still do cup replays? They do in the FA, don't they? Who is it? Who is it? Martinez. Oh, I should have hit it. Rubes is there. Pulisic is there. Ruben lost his cheek, makes a run. He's there. Kovacic! How has he saved that? Going to doy. Come on, Callum. Pulisic. Christian Pulisic fires it at goal. Another great save. We are piling on the pressure. So far, the West Ham... Uh, West Ham? West Brom goalkeeper single-handedly, while making two-handed saves, if that makes sense, Keeping us at bay. That's a foul, isn't it? Oh, my God. They're wrestling. They're wrestling. It's like some WWE stuff. Fully really expect Stone Cold Steve Austin to run out the crowd. Ethan Ampadu in the meantime. Ethan Ampadu. -y. Calm down. Three changes being made. Tonali, James and Liao coming on. The other two are straight swaps. But Reese James is going to come on at right wing. See if he can be an attacking threat for us. I'm sure he can. Tonali got straight in at CDM. Tonali get there. It's not even Tonali, is it? It's Koulibaly. All the players' names sound the same. Oh, what a ball from Koulibaly. Releasing Reese James. He's going to get there. There is a man over at the back stick. Liao! Liao! Oh, you little beauty. 
the substitutes combining, that all come from Koulibaly. But how about the cross? And the first time volleyed finished. Those West Brom fans gutted. They've worked so hard to get back into this game, West Brom. But look at it. I see it. I see Liao. And that is some finish, isn't it? Just side foot volley right in the corner. Reese James with the perfect delivery. Look at the composure on that. The technique. Incredible from Liao. No. Oh, no. Koulibaly, what are you doing? I don't know why Koulibaly's gone down. I actually do know why. I tried to block a shot. The shot that never happened. 3-3. Three, three. A proper ding-dong cup tie, this, isn't it? Oh, I can't believe it. Shocking defending again. Look at it. I thought he was going to turn and shoot. But he's gone down about 20 minutes later. My word. Jubilation. Celebration. Despair. Everything you expect from an FA Cup tie in this one. Here's Liao. I'm waiting for Martinez to make a run. My God. And I love the way that because it's a cup tie, they're going for it. They're not sitting back like they would do in a Premier League game. They are attacking and taking the game to us here. That's brilliant from Lamptey. Go on, Reese. Got Martinez and Reese James. Reese James needs someone. Cross it. Oh, it's saved. Cover with the rebound. That is wild. Finale big. Although, West Brom still have it. No way. No way. Oh, Kepper. Good save. No penalty, please. Oh, they've got a corner. Five minutes left. Goal now would no doubt be the winner for either side. I'm sure of it. Although, in this game, you never really know. That's head of the way. I'll tell you what. Matson can break. Got support up with him with Martinez. Are you kidding me? That was not a difficult pass to play. He had about 50 yards to play the ball into. Martinez would have won that race. I'm sure of it. Now at the other end, we're defending again. Don't rush in. Kepa, you absolute beast. I was fuming. I was raging. Thought they'd scored. Kovacic releases Reese James. No support for Reese at this stage. Oh, I just tried to hook it goalwards. Tried to do something. Oh, I thought he was going to get there as well. What a cup tie. I think we're heading to a replay. I don't think extra time happens, does it? Might do. I'm not sure. Players look like they're regrouping. No, they're shaking hands. We've got to go back to the Hawthorns. That is not what we need. At what is already a very, very busy time of year. But great debut for that guy. Lataro Martinez scoring twice on his debut in blue. Right, offers. Udinese want Ethan Ampadu on a two-year loan. Milan want Ethan Ampadu with a loan with the option to buy. Borges, as we know, has joined Siversport. And we still have the Broya offer. That's what I want you to get back to me on. So I'm going to end this episode there. There's been a lot of deals. A lot of money spent. And I just, I want your opinion before we go any further, really. So, bro, yeah, do we send him out to Porto? 26.2 mil. We can negotiate that probably to 30. Lukaku is transfer listed. Mount is on a development plan to play CM. Incredible. Tonali joins. Lataro Martinez joins and starts banging goals in immediately. That gives me some hope. Other deals are going through as well. We'll, of course, check on them at the start of the very next episode. But that's where I'm ending it, guys. Let me know what we do with Broya down in the comments. Hope you enjoyed the episode. See you next time.